Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part three of my tutorial series for Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. In this episode, we actually go to space for the first time. So we still have that contract going, but now we're going to go to the R&D building and uh, unlock some more nodes here. We can actually, we can unlock survivability. That's a good one because it adds these new parachutes and heat shields, which will be useful for going to space. We can unlock general rocketry, which uh, gives us bigger engines and bigger fuel tanks and, and uh, smarter engines. And actually, I have just enough to unlock stability, which gives us winglets, which will help keep our rockets stable. Remember how that, end, that rocket was flipping backwards? Well, those little winglets will actually help us keep, keep pointing the correct direction. Okay, so let's clear our contracts. So we, we get a distance record. Great. We got another, and we get three distance records. Fabulous. Now, one more thing before we go to space. The astronaut center here. So the astronaut center has an upgrade available. If I mouse over it, it says that I will be able to perform an EVA, right? Prior to this, Kerbals can only disembark on Kerbin. If I upgrade this, they will be able to perform an EVA while in space. And since we're going to space, that would be quite useful because it means we could collect EVA sites. So I would recommend spending the 75,000 and getting access to EVAs while you're in space. And that means you can get more science. More science is always more better. So I'm going to keep this rocket just like it is right now. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting plan. What I'm going to do is we're going to put on a heat shield here. So the heat shield will protect us during descent. I'm not going to bring up the exposure experiment right now because I don't think we're going to be able to use that. Now, I want this heat shield to bear the brunt of the descent. And to do that, we need to detach the rest of the spacecraft. So under the structural menu, we have this thing called the TR-18 stack decoupler. This is an item that when activated through the staging system will split the rocket into two separate pieces. So if I split this up, we can have the engine fire, it'll burn through this fuel and then once we reach run out of fuel we can hit space again and this whole thing will split off into a separate spacecraft. This is how you build real rockets, you know they have stages. I'm going to get rid of these dinky little tanks and use bigger fuel tanks because we can. In the engines, yeah, we don't have any uh, engines that will help us get to space here. Now, I think I'm going to keep this like that for now. And the other thing, uh, yeah, I guess we're di ditching that. So actually, we're going to ditch this whole thing. Let's get, make it like four... Let's make it six tanks long. That should actually get us into space. I'm hoping. And then we'll put little uh, fins on the bottom here. So again, we're going to use surface attachment. And you want to do this symmetrically. So a fast way, instead of clicking down here to get symmetry, you can press the X key. So you can see how it changes when I'm hitting X. So that's four-way symmetry if I do that. This should keep our rocket pointed relatively the correct direction. And since this rocket's actually going to be a lot easier to fly, I'm going to pick a different crew member. I'm going to pick Bob Kerman. He is a scientist. He will no doubt be able to do, you know, cool science things to make sure that we fly well. Okay, we're ready to launch. Yes, experienced scientists are supposed to be able to collect uh, better scientific data. So. To launch, I'm going to go to 100% throttle now. So I press the Z key and we're going to go up. And I'm actually going to fly off to the north this time because there's more different terrain up that way. So we don't want to turn over too much. We want to go more or less straight up. So hit space and that's us starting to fly upwards. It's keeping us straight. Uh, we don't need to touch anything here because the aerodynamic fins will keep us stable. However, we do want to be careful that we don't go too high because coming back down from a high altitude launch can be very, very dangerous. 
Again, these fins are just going to keep me flying straight, even although we have aerodynamic forces acting against us. I guess what we could do, by the way, is we could right click and uh, crew report once we get up to a suitable altitude. But, yes, right now let's come out to the map. So we press the M key, and at the bottom of the screen there's this little drawer here with the nav ball. I'm going to bring that out here. So we're still going upwards. What I'm looking at by turning the map around with the right mouse button, I want to wait until my apoapsis gets above 70 kilometers, gets up to about maybe 80, and then press X. So that's us. We're going straight up. And we will reach 90 kilometers, and then we're going to start falling back down. So while we're on the way up, Let's do some science. We're above 30 kilometers. At this altitude, we can actually do new type of science. This is high altitude science. So we'll do a crew report and we'll right click on one of the mystery goo containers and do that kind of science. The goo seems to be getting pretty cold right now. Keep the data, keep the data. No, we actually have fuel left here. I could have done this more efficiently if I tried. So there's one other thing we could do. We could EVA Bob. And while he's up here, we can do an EVA report. You're starting to feel you should really get back inside the ship now. So keep that. And you have to be very careful here because if you fall off, you have a limited amount of time to fix this. So I'm going to do the same trick that I explained before. I'm going to take the data from the spacecraft. And I'm going to store the experiments says all items stored and now I'm back now I'm above 70 kilometers this is now space so I can do another EVA report from space and it says space just above the grasslands so the grasslands is this area here off to the west of the space center so I'm going to keep that and again store it inside the spacecraft and board so what else? Well, we cleared out the science node in here, so we should be able to do another crew report. It's, it, it seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. We'll keep that data, and we shall collect the mystery goo data. The goo seems to have dumped, clumped into a sphere. It also seems to have become brittle. Great. Now, if you've got time, you might want to do one last EVA because if you do it right you can collect the data from these and again collect the data from this and then uh, get back inside so we'll take the data inside with us the reason I'm doing this is if we find that we're coming down too fast it's entirely possible that the re-entry forces strip off these and uh, you, you lose them so by taking the scientific data from these we keep it safe Anyway, we are on the way back down now, so let's hit space to detach. The rest of the rocket falls away from us. And uh, you want to kind of orient yourself roughly straight down. And yeah, this is going to be a case of time acceleration. So once you're in space, time acceleration works slightly differently. But we're going to be back inside the atmosphere. And now we're falling towards the surface. There we go. I should have probably taken the, the crew report out of there now I think about it. Oh, 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 slow down. Okay, so this is something to be careful about. If you're using the controls while in, in time acceleration mode, the controls will be accelerated as well. So you want to use the various keys to keep yourself pointed roughly the right direction because otherwise you will end up going head first into a raging inferno and that is not a good thing to have happen okay there we go slowing right down now this thing is a little unstable because of the extra hardware but i think we're okay so we're getting low better press the space button to deploy the parachute and that's us we're almost there now if i had really thought about it i could have done a I could have took the crew data and uh, stored it in the capsule, but I missed out on that. That was a foolish mistake on my part. But never mind, we're going to land and we're going to make use of the great science we got on this little excursion. 
So uh, we're in a new biome again, so we can collect more science. Yes, science everywhere. So again, first trick, he is flying, so we can do an EVA report. While we're flying over Kerbin's Highlands. Oh, actually, we hit the Highlands. And again, take the data from here, right, to clear out the experiment, and then you store it back in here. There's two things. There's like a bucket of data from other stuff, and then there's a single experiment which you have done in here. So I'm going to land, step, step onto the surface, and now do another EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here. I can store that. And another thing he can do now that I've upgraded the astronaut center is we can right click and plant a flag to show, uh, to, to record our achievement in the shadow of Mount K2 or whatever. So yes, uh, first space mission. First space mission. And you can, you know, put whatever information you like on it for posterity. But I'm going to get back inside my spacecraft, board it, and collect my final crew report from the Highlands. More science! Science all around. We'll be serving up science till the cows come home. Or at least the capsule comes home. So right-click, recover the vessel. And we're now back at the Space Center. We have acquired 61 science from this mission. That's excellent. We've acquired a ton of funds, 317,000 funds now. Uh, if you We had about 100k before this. Now we've got an extra 200 from all this. So yeah, Bob gained a bunch of reputation from that, or a bunch of experience. Let's take a look at our contracts. We get altitude records. We get speed records, more altitude records, more altitude records. We escaped the atmosphere and got science and reputation. We got another altitude record and another whatever. Okay. Okay, so now we know a little more about uh, the science behind getting science in Kerbal Space Program. We're going to start to push the limits a bit and uh, try to get as much science as we can before we really head off into orbit and into deep space. That'll be in the next episode. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.